So this afternoon at approximately 1240 hours, uh, Sea Pleasant police officers responded um, to the 400 block of 69th place uh, for what came in as a contact shooting. Um, upon their arrival, they found two male victims suffering from um, gunshot um, uh, wounds to the upper torsos of their body. Um, immediately, our officers, Sea Pleasant police officers, started life-saving measures, um, and both male victims were transported to Prince George's County Hospital Center, where they were treated by medical staff. Um, shortly time thereafter, um, one of the male victims there succumbed um, to his injuries um, and was pronounced deceased by medical staff on scene. Was this in the middle of the street or in somebody's house or what? Um, well, right now, this is still early in the investigation. As you see, the scene behind us is very fluid and things are moving. Uh, we're not exactly sure where all the locations were. We do think a portion of the incident did occur, uh, occur on the street um, and maybe on the sidewalk. Um, we're out here working with investigators from Prince George's County Police Homicide Unit. They'll be leading the investigation and be able to narrow down a little bit more as things unravel here. Have you identified the, the shooters and the victims yet? Or um, obviously the victims, not. Well, we do have the identity of the victims. We'll, we'll release those later, uh, working in conjunction with Prince George's County Police uh, Homicide. Um, the shooters, we're still working on that. As I said, this is a very fluid investigation, so we're still early on. Um, just want to get you guys some information so you can know what we have going on. I understand. Of a car being pulled over earlier, is it, so the, the shooters are still at large. Well, I have no knowledge of that. Okay. I don't have any knowledge of a car being uh, pulled over in okay. relation to this. But the shooters are at large still? Uh, right now, we have no suspects in custody. Okay. Are they no two, males, two males were shot? Yes, two male victims, sir. How, are they juveniles or they're adults or what? Uh, they're adult victims, African American males. And the significance of that silver SUV back there? Um, is well, to my understanding, the silver SUV, SUV uh, has no involvement at this time. Um, if I can double check on that and update you more as we move along, like I said, this scene has just occurred, uh, unfolding as we're standing here, literally. Um, so we're finding out more details literally by the moment. Um, and we'll keep you guys abreast and updated as we are. I do want to let, allow the mayor to speak, and then I'll follow up any more questions after that. Okay. Mayor, yeah. could you just say your No, no problem. Eugene, E-U-G-E-N-E, -E, middle initial W, last name Grant, G-R-A-N-T. First of all, this is a sad day, as you can imagine, in Sea Pleasant, a city, smart city of excellence, that uh, we have to respond to... Uh, shootings in our community but we want to make certain that we reassure uh, our residents and our neighbors and our visitors that this city is for the most part a safe city and our Sea Pleasant Police Department is out on the street continuously serving and protecting uh, our residents as this investigation is unfolding. We want to make it clear that our police department responded immediately uh, to the call and began to administer aid to the victims. Unfortunately, one who has succumbed, we send condolences to uh, their families and friends as they will begin hearing word of the loss of life.